I am Dr. Omar Almala, an ophthalmologist in uh, private practice in Toms River, New Jersey. In this video, I will demonstrate a new ab interno approach canaloplasty done in conjunction with femto laser cataract surgery. In this patient, the preoperative intraocular pressure with topical glaucoma medications is 26 millimeters mercury. The 360 degree viscodilation will treat the entire natural drainage system. Catheterizing the canal of Schlem will break adhesions within the canal and free up herniations of the inner wall of Schlem into the collector channels. Studies ongoing by, do by Dr. Haiyan Gong looking at the structure and function of the aqueous outflow system in glaucoma in his eyes and also in UBM scan images has recently shown the importance of the distal outflow channels contributing to intraocular pressure. This procedure is not meant to replace ab externo canaloplasty. However, like ab externo canaloplasty, this procedure reestablishes flow from the anterior chamber to the restored canal of Schlem and the collectors and therefore enhances physiologic control of intraocular pressure. A bleb is avoided and all the associated post-operative problems. 360 degrees of the canal is viscodilated. Unlike the ab external canaloplasty, however, here we do not use a circumferential suture tensioning of the trabecular meshwork or stenting of the canal of Schlem. There is also no decimatic window creation. Viscodilation expands the canal of Schlem by two to three times its normal size allowing more flow from the anterior chamber to the canal of Schlem. In addition, it is felt that there is additional dilation of the collector channels to reestablish the flow in the distal drainage system. While MIG surgery currently addresses a small portion of the canal, it does not address the distal drainage system. You need, this, you need for this procedure the iTrack eye track, eye track microcatheter Helon GV for microcatheter and to put under the gonial lens. I use a 20 gauge MVR blade, which I will demonstrate. Smooth jaws, intraocular forceps, loop forceps to handle the microcatheter without damaging it, and also a, a routine lens, Lester lens rotator. This is the M 20 gauge MVR blade. I insert it under viscoelastic through the primary cataract incision. Now this is after we have tilted the patient's head and the microscope. I identify canal of Schlem. Note that the channel is kept slightly soft so that there is blood helping us guide the position of the otomy. A one and a half millimeter otomy is made in the trabecular meshwork and just slightly lift up on it to see the blood egress so we know we're in the right position. Through a side port, a one millimeter side port incision, the eye track microcatheter is inserted and aimed toward the position of the otomy. A smooth jaws intraocular forcep is then inserted, and the microcatheter tip is gently grasped. The tip is positioned now toward the uh, otomy and very gently inserted. And the tip is then advanced in a 360 degree fashion. Note it is important here that your nurse keep the catheter parallel. And also note that I zoomed out here so as to allow the surgeon to uh, observe in his peripheral vision the uh, tip of the microcatheter as it comes around. So in addition to uh, keeping your eye on the uh, tip, you can also uh, have a feeling of where you are and how much further you need to go. A smooth, continuous action of feeding um, the catheter in a 360 degree fashion until the tip reappears at the site of the otomy. Now it's important that the catheter have been primed before we enter the eye. And also very importantly at this point we want to reprime the catheter with several clicks until we see some helon oozing from the tip before we begin to 
pull it back. Here I have inserted a, a, a Lester lens rotator and holding it up against the catheter so as to help act, act as a fulcrum to avoid traumatizing the canal. Every two clock hours my nurse um, turns the dial on the helon so we introduce helon every two clock hours here as we are smoothly withdrawing the microcatheter. The microcatheter is removed. This is done after the eye has been rotated back to the primary position and we're looking straight at, down at it. Irrigation aspiration now proceeds in the usual fashion. The small amount of blood that um, is there from the initial otomy is removed and once the eye is pressurized no further bleeding occurs as the blood uh, rushes out of the canal of Schlem. It is important to remove all the viscoelastic so we don't have additional pressure spike. As some of the helon will remain in the canal and the distal uh, collector channels for up to 24 hours, um, I also treat the patient postoperatively with uh, Dimox and also HS if they are not allergic. It is my routine here to uh, hydro, uh, hydrate the incision with uh, vancomycin, which helps seal the wound, but also helps uh, introduce antibiotic to the wound site and protect the eye.